Now, it seems like almost every other day there's plugins and themes and tools coming out for WordPress, and today is absolutely no exception. We're going to be taking a look at Fluent Snippets, which has literally just been released in the last 20 minutes at the time of recording this video. What exactly is Fluent Snippets? Who's it from? And why should you care? Well, first of all, Fluent Snippets, as its name suggests, is a snippets manager for WordPress, but it does operate slightly differently to the other competition that's out there right now, and I'll come on to that in a moment. Secondly, it comes from a company that has a proven track record for creating great products. Fluent brings us Fluent CRM, Fluent Forms, and so many other options. So it's not some new company pushing something out quickly that you can't trust. So how is this different to the competition that's out there? Things like Code Snippets, WP Code Box, and so on. Well, primarily, this does not store the information inside your WordPress database. So you don't have any database calls to slow things down. Everything is stored as a flat file as part of your file system. This means that you can not only not have to bother the database to load these in, but it also means that if you want to uninstall Fluent Snippets, you can uninstall it, and those files will sit inside your WordPress directory and they do not need Fluent Snippets to actually operate moving forward. So you can install it, set things up, then take the plugin out and get rid of the, another plugin to update. So that's pretty cool and interesting in its own right. There's some other things and let's go and take a look at some of those right now. So I've installed Fluent Snippets, I've got everything set up and we're ready to go. We have three tabs across the top, your snippets, settings and about. We'll come on to the snippets in a second. Coming to settings, there's a couple of things I want to draw your attention to here. First of all, you can see we can activate snippets as a default action. If disabled, they'll be saved as a draft. So in other words, if you want them to run automatically as soon as they're created, you can set them up inside you. Otherwise, they'll just stay as a draft until you action them. Automatically disable script on fatal error. If you install a snippet and something goes absolutely wrong, this will attempt to disable that script to avoid any future problems. But if you can't get past that, then the safe mode option is something you want to take note of. You can see we have this safe mode URL. You can copy this, save that somewhere safe, and if anything goes wrong, you can use that, and by using that, it will disable all of the snippets that you have as part of what you've installed as Fluent Snippets. So this should mean that all those will be disabled, and then you should be able to log back into your WordPress website without any problems. So that's a pretty useful feature. I haven't tried it out, and hopefully it works as well as they say it does, but I'm sure time will tell when people start to use it, and they can come back and feedback on it. Then you can, if you want to, enable safe mode programmatically. So you can simply add this to your WP config file and it will automatically be in safe mode should you need it. And then you've got standalone mode, which this allows you to force to keep installing the plugin all the time. So again, this kind of goes back to what I said about not having to worry about it, having it installed all the time. It's a shame that we remove all data, including all scripts completely on plugin delete is a coming soon, but hopefully that won't be long before we have that option because as anybody knows, I like the fact that you can just get rid of a plugin and everything that's related to it is also removed alongside it. Okay, so let's go back to take a look at our snippets. Let's create a snippet. And you can see this looks probably very familiar to what we've seen plenty of times before. I've got a little code snippet I'm going to pop inside here. This just hides the dashboard widget wrap. This is a function that just goes into the functions PHP file. But if it was content, PHP, HTML, style, CSS, or JavaScript JS, you can simply choose what you want from there. We can give this a name. If you want to drop in a description, you can do. You can group things together. So we may say this is just something like admin updates or admin tweaks. Add, we now group those together and set our priority. And if we want to apply tags, we can apply tags here. Again, nothing we haven't already seen. There's no reinventing the wheel at this point. You can then choose where do you want this to run from everywhere, front end only and admin only. So again, nothing we haven't already seen in the past. Next up, you've got the advanced conditional logic. And this is something that is a little bit new to me. I haven't seen this in any of the other plugins that I've tested out. I haven't tested them all out, so I might be talking absolute rubbish here. But it is nice to see we have this conditional logic where we can get a little bit more granular on where and when this particular code snippet will run. Now, first of all, there is a little bit of a typo inside here. I don't think this is meant to be a new filter to executive. I think it's meant to be execute. So hopefully they'll update that on version 1.01. .01. But you can see we can click on Add, and we can choose between Users, Pages, and Date. So we may only want this to run based upon a particular date, or a particular page, or a particular user. So we open this up, you can see we can choose Logged In, which you'd need to be because it's an admin script, but obviously that's not always going to be the case. You can choose User Role, so we may say that this includes, and we can choose, for example, the Admin, 
the editor and the author, but anybody outside that will actually still see or not see, depending on how you set this up. You want to set up more conditions, you can stack them on top, so you can see we can choose pages, type of page, URL, taxonomy, and so on, single post, CPT, and so on. So you can get really granular with this. You can choose date ranges, time, and days of the week. So pretty cool. You could use this to do things like add in advertising or sponsorship information or things like that. Add that to the front end of your site and then only show it certain days, times, date ranges, and so on. Great if you want to sort of like set it and forget it. So that's pretty cool. But let's just say you're happy with that. You can leave it there or you can set in an or function. So you can click to add an or function. So we can now set up and functions and stack those. We can have or functions. We can have multiple different kinds of conditional logic options inside you. Pretty cool. I do quite like the look of this. Let's get rid of those though for now. Just get rid of them completely. And then we can just say create the snippet. And there's our snippet successfully created and run everywhere. Now you can see this is set in draft mode, like I said earlier on, because that's the way we've got things set up. So if you want to change that, you can change it. As you can see at the moment it's set as draft, but we can easily just enable this. And now that has been successfully run. So if there was a problem and the site went down, you know we've got that option inside the settings that we can go back into safe mode URL, which will automatically disable these should there be a problem. And you can also see that we can sort these. We can use grouped or table information, so how we want to lay them out. Gives us the information we need, including any info that we've added in. Choose the folder we've got it in, we can edit it, we can delete it. You know, all the standard functions you would expect to be included. Now, as I said, the difference here to a lot of the other snippet plugins is that this is storing it as a flat file. So I've come over into the actual structure for my site, hop into WP Content, which is part of the sort of the root setup of WordPress, and you'll see we have a new folder called Fluent Snippet Storage. If we open that up, you can see we've got there's our file, our hide dashboard wrap PHP. If we double click it to open it up, you can see there's our code snippet, everything that we included, plus some information for the internal document for working with the actual code snippet plugin itself. So if you did have a problem, you could easily come in here and just delete that particular file. If the restore or the sort of like the safe URL doesn't work, it's not difficult to get in here and delete these. And like I said, because your database isn't being used to store this, we're saving time and database calls by not using that, but also it means that it's a lot more flexible if something does go wrong to easily just delete these and hopefully that will just put things back to where it was if, like I say, that safe URL doesn't work. So Fluent Snippets is an interesting plugin. Uh, the fact it's free is pretty awesome. The fact it's not restricted to only allowing you to use like functions or PHP files and things like that. You can use any one you want. That's also pretty cool. I do like the fact that this reduces database calls stores things as a flat file, and there's a lot of benefits to using it. But as always, I'd love to get your feedback on this. Is this something you would now try yourself? Do you like the fact that you have this stored outside the database? What are your thoughts? Let me know in the comment section down below. Like I say, this is still version 1.0. It has literally just been released. So I'd love to get your feedback on what you think of it. And I'd like to see where this goes over the next coming months as we get more people using it, testing it, and giving feedback on it. But as always, let me have your comments. All applicable links are in the description down below. My name is Paul C. This is WP Tuts, and until next time, take care.